When it comes to learning to code, you probably already know about this. There are so many different programming languages out there. There's Java, JavaScript, Python, yada yada. One of the biggest reasons why Python is so popular is because Python is a very versatile programming language. I do want to give you some ideas about jobs that you can lend if you learn to code in Python. Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software developer working in New York City. Currently, I am at the hotel room because I am getting ready to go to a wedding. It's been a crazy month and I managed to just <laughs> carry my camera around so that I can still create content. I am so grateful that I have a a community and an audience to listen to my content and if you are interested to hear more about learning how to code, web development, and all things related to tech, this might be a channel for you and maybe consider subscribing. So let's get into it. Job number one is Python developer and <laughs> that is probably the most straightforward Python job that you can get. I would say most of the Python developers are mainly focusing on backend. You will be expecting to work a lot with developers in the front end if you are a backend developer. You can also be a full stack developer where you will be working in front end, back end simultaneously and you probably will be switching different programming languages if you're a back end developer because most of the front end stacks are going to be like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. A lot of the frameworks out there for front end are like React, Vue, Angular even. You would just expect it to be working a lot on building websites, building web applications, building software, and working with other developers. A lot of the job titles are going to be either they specifically say Python developer or software developer, but they would list that they want someone who is experienced with Python or certain Python frameworks. Job number two is data analyst. Data analyst is a very broad job. I would say it really depending on what companies that you work for and what their business is. The reasons that a lot of companies are hiring for data analysts and need a data analyst to understand Python is because Python can be used in a lot of data manipulations. And there are so many different Python frameworks for data analytics. Python in the past three years has been just like skyrocket in the data science world. I would say like in maybe five years ago or maybe like even Earlier than that, Python was not as popular as, as if right now. And there's just so many like job opportunities for data analysts. In terms of like skill sets and what you're expecting to see in your job is to do a lot of like reports and also just like running different tasks to be able to help the business to make certain decisions. A lot of times when it comes to data analysts, you would require to know um, how to talk to the database. And one of the popular language to do that obviously is SQL. SQL stands for Structure Query Language and um, it's been there since the 60s, I believe, and it's always been there forever. It never really changed that much and it's definitely a great language to pick up on if you decided you wanted to be a data analyst. And one of the career paths that is very clear and very lucrative for data analysts is to become a data scientist. And I think that it is a very good opportunity if you wanted to learn Python and you wanted to get into the data science field. Python is definitely the number one programming language to look out for. And I would say that data analyst is not like a ultimate job. Like you can learn from your job and determine if you one day wanted to become a business analyst, a project manager, a product manager. There's just so many different options that you can proceed 
than just being a data analyst. I think that knowing data, it's always help you to advance in your career. There are a lot of product managers, even they know a lot about data and they worked really closely with the data team to come up with decisions to make a really good product decision for the business. Job number three is basically anything that is relating to your office jobs. If your job requires a lot of manual work and it's just taking a lot of your time and the business time, this might be a really good idea to start learning Python. There are so many ways that you can automate tasks. And if you're seeing yourself repeating one task over and over and over and something that you can see yourself like automating, this is the part where you can actually use Python to help your work and also help the entire department to be able to worked more effectively and efficiently by using Python. There are a lot of jobs out there that are not required for you to know Python, but if you do know Python and know how to automate a lot of your tasks in your day, your life will be better. Your work will be better, I swear. I hope that you are gaining values from this video. One last thing that I would say is if you are currently thinking about what Python programming languages courses you are going to take. I have a few videos that are giving you some suggestions on that. So hopefully those videos are going to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye.